Okay, guys. So um, I need you to figure out where these, how these things fit together, and talk about um, the connections that they make. And when you finish, I'm going to have you go through and explain all the connections that you make through the whole process. Where the economic policy was about the international committee, like how they wanted to start out. Oh. In IB, it teaches its students to practice critical and sustained thinking. For the most part, students are so stressed about striving for correct and accurate answers when really this is not what's important. What's important is the thinking process in general, building off of ideas with group, collaboration, and being prepared to fail. How can we move forward? and not have quite so many missing grades. What are some things we can do to stay proactive? An important IB trait that we learn is risk taking. If you're not able to prepare for failure and know that you're wrong and be able to admit that you're wrong, then you won't be able to grow as a person. This in turn allows you to increase your range of thinking and also help you in the longer run for personal growth, whether it be with open-mindedness and building your confidence. In IB, it's all about challenging yourself. The challenges we go through form the best versions of ourselves for the future. It's all about balance, working, and focusing on bettering yourself. Of course, academics is important, but bettering yourself and engaging beyond the classroom is a huge part of IB. We here at Hardaway strive to be the best versions of ourselves. Even though thinking and doing things that matter are important, Learning without reflection is a waste. Reflection without learning is dangerous. mark making the, the hand of the artist what what is that saying about Asia here is it's very it's very strategic and controlled okay. right I, I just that's the type of work that I enjoy doing sure. um, I, I really don't you know like the abstract work but right. I'm trying to continue to have my options open yeah. and to be more open with my drawings and my portfolios I have to get that together sure so with that my work is it's kind of I would say it's in one section of being like I don't want to say kind of looking the same mm -hmm. but it has the same shades the same, same hand smooth, in there. right yeah yeah in a way because I'm starting to get more comfortable with using color sure and I, I really refrain from using color and see most of my work is in either graphite or charcoal so I would say that yes for the most part okay um but it, I just did have to get used this field to go in a completely different direction. It was very different and very out of my comfort zone. Yeah. Um, but as I started to continue on, it became I got I got more comfortable. Yeah. And um, it was just just out right. of my control, which I didn't I didn't like at first. But okay. you say you really enjoyed this experience. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you enjoyed about it. Was it the fact that it was robotics and, and competition or the volunteer part of it. What? Tell me what part of it you enjoyed the most. I like the volunteer part of it, but the fact that I was like watching robots go at it was really cool, because like you don't really get to see that normally. Right. And just the mechanics of it, like I really like knowing how they work, and so getting able to see um, all the different teams try to work on them and maneuver them around was really cool. And keeping up with work and getting things together and stuff and. You know, I know adjusting to high school is a challenge in itself. How many of you have missed an assignment? Okay, so so we're not all rock stars. Have you ever had to keep up with so much all at once? Yeah. You have before this year? You had to keep up with all that stuff all at the same time? Yeah, last year. Last year? Okay. Um, did you have a calendar or a system that you used? Yeah, my, um, my teachers would upload on the calendar. 
How many of you have a management system of your own? Okay, so you use an agenda it team, a lot. right? It helps? Yes, a lot. Okay. As I'm reading this quote, I'm also reflecting on it. And as you enter ID, one thing you will have to do is reflect. And we always reflect, but when ID, when we get into ID, you learn the process of reflecting. You think about how you feel before, how you feel during it, and how you feel after. And reflecting not only helps you grow after the experience and for the experience, it also helps you grow in the long run. If you think it is hard, it will be.